All right, so the next position I want to talk about, I'm going to call the inside wheel. Now, that's not a technical name, that's just what I call it. What it's composed of is one half of a tie clinch. Wrestlers often call this a half collar tie. So, same thing, I'm high up on the head, I'm leveraging the head down and forward while I'm pushing my elbow into his chest, which gives me a little bit of structure to push and pull, which is nice if I want to get him moving, right? Now, this other hand, I want to be on the inside right here and uh, make sure you get the hand right here. I'm T-Rexing it here. So I've got these tiny little arms, half collar tie, T-Rex on the inside of his arm and notice my head is in close. Now, the reason why I've got this T-Rex arm is to prevent him from punching and elbowing me with that hand, right? So I've got this control. Now the reason why I call it inside wheel is this point right here, I've got the option to pull and move him around and I can use my hand to help out while this pulls, this pushes, like so. Now the opposite, I can get underneath and push, almost like I'm trying to shove his deltoid shoulder muscle into his ear, and then I can help on this end by pulling. So what I've got here is a big steering wheel. Now, I keep my head buried while I do this. And the reason is, even with this control, there's a chance that he might throw a wild punch and I get caught with something, especially if he's just flinging punches like any normal person would do, trying to save themselves, it's not good, right? So what I wanna do, come in here, stay close, so he throws his punches. I don't really care so much, right? So I've got good control here, I've got good protection here, and because I've got this, I'm in a prime position to throw him down, and I'm also set up for strikes of my own or transition into the full plumb, like so.